Hello, everyone. Hello, teacher. Carlos, hello. <clears throat> How was your day today? Was it good? Really good. That's great. Yes, that's great. And you? Very busy, but <laughs> it was a good day. A very good day. 
I relax a little bit. Hi, good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. And you? Great. Waiting oh. for your classmates. Yes, es justo eso iba a decir. <laughs> Se me fue porque por la general siempre dice uno, I'm fine, man, pero I'm ready for the class. Okay. Yes. I'm just, well, but I cannot wait too long because time flies, right? And sometimes I need more time for practice or explanations. Let's see. Comments, questions. Yesterday we were practicing a lot of questions. You don't have questions today? Curiosity, something you want to ask me about my routines, my job, my pets, my family, my hobbies. Ya me preguntaron de la edad. Ya les mentí. Uh -huh. Sobre el grupo de WhatsApp que habíamos comentado. Este, no sé si está bien que lo haga yo y mande el link para que se unan los, los compañeros. Yes, you can do that. Ok. Mm -hmm. No voy a mandar el chapo de acá, entonces. Ok, good, that's perfect. Ok, so let's begin, guys. I'm going to start, ok? Today, we're going to practice this. Just some adjectives talking about jobs. And there you have some jobs. You have cashier chef, flight attendant, judge, musician, nurse, police officer, salesperson, security guard, and singer. And you have some adjectives, exciting, boring, easy, difficult, safe, dangerous, relaxing, stressful. What we are going to do, and please help me participating, right? We are going to give opinions about those jobs. And if you notice, there are some ticks, some checks. For example, cashier, easy. In a complete sentence, we can say, I think a cashier has an easy job. Chef, I think a chef has a stressful job. Flight attendant, I think a flight attendant has a difficult job, okay? That's what I want you to do, try to do. Give me your opinion, but I mean your opinion. So you can use different adjectives, okay? Who wants to try? Who wants to give me his or her opinion? Hello, ladies and 
gentlemen, para los que se acaban de unir. So, who wants to try? Someone? Nobody. Ah, no entendí lo último. Yo ya no me perdí. ¿Qué estaba explicando? <laughs> okay. Okay, um, Alex. That's okay. Um, you have to give me your opinion because we are going to practice um, two things. We're going to practice vocabulary, in this case, adjectives, and we're going to practice two structures. Vamos a, a practicar adjetivos para dar nuestra opinión, calificar los trabajos. Y vamos a utilizar dos estructuras. Entonces, acá la idea es que me den su opinión sobre los empleos. Si creen que una cajera tiene un empleo fácil, como dice acá, eso es lo que me van a decir. Siguiendo, I'm going to write in the chat. Okay, okay. For example, no. you say, I think... Um, cashier has a difficult, I'm going to say difficult, a uh, difficult job. Okay. Y les envío un ejemplo en el chat. Y luego Carlos también envió el link. I think a cashier has a difficult job. I think a cashier has a difficult job. And this is the first structure that we are going to practice. Now, I want to listen to your opinion. This is... En el caso podría ser el de el chef. Eh, the chef has a eh, stressful eh, job. Perfect. Mm -hmm. A chef has a stressful job. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. More opinions. I think. Uh, Flight attendant uh, has a um, difficult job. Yes. Mm -hmm. Good. More opinions. I think a nurse uh, has a, a stressful job. Yes, I agree with you. Mm -hmm. More opinions. I think um music musician 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 is a relaxing um easy job. Mm, okay, okay, okay. There's something there. I'm going to explain later. More opinions. Thank you, Mary. More opinions.
No more. Yo pensé que se me había ido el inter. I'm, I'm waiting. I'm, I'm waiting for participation. Fue el rapto, dije yo, y me quedé. Okay, I switch, I change. Uh, okay, so we are doing the following. I'm going to write here again. Um, I think, right? Because yo creo, yo pienso. I think a chef, I think a chef has um, stressful job, okay? This is what we are practicing. I think a chef has a stressful job, or I think um, a police officer has a dangerous, dangerous job, okay? There you have two opinions. I think a security guard has a job. Yes, easy. Easy, easy job. Abrir y cerrar la puerta. Okay, oh, okay, but it depends, right? That's a, uh -huh. That's a, a security guard. Okay, that's a security guard. Yesterday, no, last Sunday, I went to play soccer and I entered to a supermarket, a small market. Um, how do we call this? I don't remember. Las tiendas que están en, los, en las gasolineras. And I opened the door and the security guard was sleeping. Yo dije, me, hielo, me llevo todo hasta el arma y él no despierta. <laughs> He was sleeping. Aburrido estoy. So, I think a police officer has a dangerous job. I think Jose Alexander has a dangerous job. I think a musician has an interesting job. Interesting job. Mm -hmm. Okay, but now you tell me your opinions. I think uh, television is difficult, uh, dangerous. Um, stressful jobs. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. Yes. Um. Mary. But the problem is that try to follow. Trate de seguir este patrón. Because in this case, we are using has. Okay. Has. Verbo tener, ok. Uh -huh. Yo creo que un chef tiene un empleo estresante. Yo creo que un oficial de policía tiene un empleo peligroso. Has, has, has. Y en ese no se puede ocupar el have, de tener. Ese es, el has. Pero como estamos hablando de una no tercera sabe. persona... Es como que, ups, lo que justo acabo de decir. I think eh, Alexander or Mr. Pacas, I think Alexander has, porque estamos hablando de una tercera persona. Es el verbo tener, have, pero por ser tercera persona usamos has. I think Alexander has. A difficult, a difficult and dangerous job. Okay. That's it. So we are using has. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, Mary. Me dice que es funny. <laughs> what? I have dice Alexander que es funny. <laughs> ah. Okay. Um, Rolando, or who was Repeat. talking? Repeat, teacher. I have example. Okay. I think, I think a teacher has interesting job. ¿Podría ser así? Yes. Mm -hmm. More yes, open. I think teacher has a perfect and stressful job. Okay. Cashier. Cashier. Okay. Cashier. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. That's it. More opinions. No more? Come on, tell me more. No sé si sería correcto decirlo, pero tal vez sería, I think a nurse has a tired job. Pero no sé si tired se usa en este contexto, decir que es un trabajo cansado. Yes, but in this case you say tiring, no tired, tiring. Mm -hmm. Y, okay. y, y me leyó la mente porque justo a nombrarla iba. Gabriela, Kenia, que sé que les he escuchado par participando bastante. Mary, someone else. Ajá. So, Kenia is not here yet. Yes, Kenia yes. is not here. Ah. Pero es que hace momentos hablé, pero no me escuchó. I'm <laughs> sorry. Mal, mi audio. I'm sorry. No, I didn't. Uh -huh. So you can do it right now. What's okay, your... I think a singer has an incredible job. Yes, a very interesting job. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. More opinions? Because... After this structure, we are going to practice another structure. And I'm going to write another idea. Uh, I, I think, uh, what, a singer. Now we are going to do it differently. I think a singer's, check this, job. Now it's different. I think a singer's job, you see? I think a singer's job is, ahora sí, el is, is interesting. Oops. Interesting, okay? Now, different. I think a singer's job is interesting. Now, give me your opinions. Ahora, las mismas opiniones, pero usando la siguiente estructura. I think a singer's job is interesting. I, okay. Um, porque ahora vamos a cambiar del verbo tener Estábamos diciendo, yo pienso que un chef tiene un trabajo estresante. Pero hoy lo vamos a hacer de la siguiente forma. Acá, esta. I think... Yeah. I think... Alexander le dio un mensaje. Yes, give me a second. Eh, I think... En este caso ya no usamos el verbo has, sino... El verbo to be, pero posesión. Por ejemplo, acá usamos la profesión. Acá. Vamos a ver otro color. Ok. La profesión, una apóstrofe 
y la S. Acordémonos, si han estado trabajando en la plataforma, ese apóstrofe con la S significa posesión. O sea, en este caso estamos diciendo, yo pienso que el trabajo de, esa S significa de, el trabajo de un cantante es interesante. Ahora ya no estamos diciendo el cantante tiene, sino que estamos diciendo que el trabajo del cantante es interesante. ¿Ok? Thank you. Uh -huh. Let's see. Okay, don't worry, um, Alex, don't worry, I understand. And... ¿Y se pueden unir al enlace que envió también Carlos? Para estar ahí, tener ese grupo como un club y práctica. Ahí ya les puedo enviar yo también más enlaces y tal vez algunos PDFs. Okay. So, now, let's try. I think a singer's job is interesting. Okay, now, more opinions. Tratando de usar esta estructura. I think a chef's job is a strip. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. Next. Thank you, Kurt. I think a mechanic's job is stressful. Yes, very good. Now, just one thing. Job. 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 La J es como una J. Job. Job. I think a singer's job, job is interesting. I think Alexander's job is difficult. I think a police officer's job is dangerous. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. More opinions. Y si queremos decir dos, los... ya no ocupamos el has, ¿verdad? En esa nueva forma. Dos adjetivos. Ya, yeah, interés. Por yes. ejemplo, en la de Alexander. I think ah. a singer's job is interesting, interesting and safe. Porque es seguro, ¿no? And in interesante y seguro. Ah, ok. Pero seguro estamos hablando de seguridad, ¿verdad? Right? I think a singer's job is interesting and safe. Okay. More opinions. I, I think a doctor's job is difficult. Yes. Thank you very much. Next. I think uh, I think a uh, Periodist job is dangerous. 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 Yes. Thank you very much. Next. I think a nurse's job is effective. Okay. Sorry. Aha. Uh -huh. More opinions. <clears throat> I think a uh, secretary's job is stress. Stressful. Oh, interesting. Stress. Oh, interesting. No, it's stressful. It's stressful. It's stressful. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. More opinions. Christian, Nancy, Kimberly, uh -huh. Nancy, Veronica. I think um so silent person. Is um 
difficult job? A salesperson's job. Salesperson, sales, salesperson's job is difficult. Okay. I think a teacher's job is tired. Yes, it is. Tiring. Stressful sometimes. Interesting sometimes. Boring sometimes. Aha. More opinions. I think a musician's uh, job is exciting. Exciting, yes, it is. More examples. I think a uh, seller is, is vendedor. Salesperson. Okay, I don't know what happened. Teacher, how do you say West in English? Josh. 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 Okay. I think uh, Josh, Josh is interesting uh, job. Yeah, interesting. Mm -hmm. Yes, very interesting. Okay, uh, problems with this? So we can Yo tengo un problema. ¿Cómo se dice correctamente la palabra, la eh, profesión de flight attendant? Flight attendant, that's correct. Flight ¿Qué? attendant. No Cuesta sé. <laughs> decirla. Pero es flight attendant. Yes. Okay. Flight attendant. Cuando le dice rápido, flight attendant. Flight attendant. Flight Flight attendant, flight attendant, flight attendant, flight attendant, flight attendant. Okay, <clears throat> no more questions. <clears throat> I'm getting sick. Okay, so now let's practice a conversation. <clears throat> Too much speaking. <clears throat> okay, two volunteers, Richard and Stephanie. Who wants to be Richard? A boy and a girl. Okay, Rolando, Richard. And me, Mary, Stephanie. Okay, so you start, Rolanda. Hey, Stephanie, I hear you have a new job. Yes, I'm teaching much at Lincoln High School. Teach. How do you like it? Like it, like it. It's great. The students are, no sé cómo se dice, terri terrific. Terrific, terrific, terrific. Terrific. How are things with you? Cállese. No. Not bad. Um, Firefight. Now, you you know. That exciting. Yes, but it's a very stiff, a stressful job. 
Um, something it's dangerous. Thank you very much. Very good. Uh, which one? Firefighter. 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 Okay. Firefighter. Exciting. 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 That's exciting. That's exciting. Yes, but it's a very stressful job. And sometimes, sometimes it's dangerous. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Two more volunteers. It's teaching, 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 no sé cómo es. Teaching. Oh. Teaching. Teaching. Yes. I'm I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. Okay. Two more volunteers. I am teacher. Uh, Jesus. Jesus and Allison. Thank you, Kenya. Later, you are next. Jesus and Allison. Okay, Jesus. Okay. Hey, Stephanie. I hear you have a new job. Yes, I'm teaching Matt and Lincoln High School. Oh, do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are your things with you? Not bad. I am perfect. No, you know. That's exciting. Yes, but it's a very stressful job and sometimes it's dangerous. Perfect. That's really good. Uh, terrific in this case is positive. Okay. The students are terrific. It's positive. No está diciendo que, que eh, sea algo negativo. Terrific es como decir son fantásticos. The students are fantastic. Esta palabra terrific es positiva in English. Okay. Uh, the students are terrific, or the students are fantastic, okay? And... Yo pensé que era terrible. <laughs> <laughs> tiende a confundir, y por eso lo aclaro, porque tiende a confundir. Creen que es como terrifico, horror. No, it's positive, okay? How are things with you? How are things with you? ¿Y cómo van las cosas con vos? How are things with you? How are things with you? Luego, en esta parte donde dice, not bad, I'm a firefighter now, you know. Esa de, you know, you know, es como decir en español, le pregunta, ¿no? How are things with you? ¿Y cómo van las cosas contigo? Ah, no mal. Eh, ahora soy bombero, ¿sabes? Ese, you know. Sería como sabes. I'm a teacher, you know. I'm a teacher, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Kenya, and I need another volunteer. Kenya and who? Carlos. Okay. Very good. You start, Carlos. Hey, Stephanie. Uh, here you have a new job. Yes, I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. Who do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are things with you? Not bad. I am fire. Wait, fire firefighter. Firefighter now. Do you now? That's exciting. That's yes, exciting. But it's very stressful job. And sometimes it's dangerous. Dangerous. And sometimes it's dangerous. Thank you very much. That's very good. Someone else? Now, uh, in this case, I would like everybody participating, okay? 
es una conversación y fuera bueno que todos la practicáramos. Someone else, more volunteers. If you can, right? If you can. I know that some people are busy. Están indispuestos, algunos tal vez. But who is free? Who wants to practice? Hmm. Okay. Um, let's see. Give me a second. Okay. And this is what we are practicing, right? these um, sentences, if you see, placement of adjectives, justo lo que hicimos al inicio, a firefighter's job is dangerous, a doctor's job is stressful, okay, y luego teníamos la otra estructura, these ones, a firefighter has a dangerous job. A doctor has a stressful job. Ambas estructuras son correctas, simplemente es para tener variedad, ¿no? Se puede decir de una forma o de la otra, ¿ok? I'm sorry for this interruption. So, and if we continue with the exercise, these ones, if you see, a musician's job is interesting. A musician has an interesting job. Number two, an athlete's job is exciting. ¿Cuál sería la otra forma? De el músico. A athlete has a exciting job. Perfect. Yes. Mm -hmm. Tienen que ir cambiando. Si la oración está con el apóstrofe S, tienen que cambiarla utilizando el has. Y lo opuesto, si la oración tiene el has, entonces se la dicen usando el apóstrofe S. Por ejemplo, number three. A lawyer's job is stressful. Another option. A lawyer has a stressful uh, a lawyer has a stressful job. That's correct. Perfect. Four, a security guard has a boring job. Sería a uh, security guards job is uh, boring. Perfect. That's it. Mm -hmm. Five. A photographer has a difficult job. I uh, a photographer has a uh, Job, it's difficult job. 
repeat, please? Help me pho photographer, please. A photographer? For, uh, pho photographer. A photographer, just it's difficult job. No. Eliminas un job, porque decís a photographer's okay, job. Okay, okay, yeah, uh -huh. yes, yes. Uh -huh. A photographer's yes. job is difficult. Yes, mm -hmm. but that's good, very good. Six. A police officer's job is a dangerous. Yes, perfect. Thank you very much. Okay. And this one's the same, right? In this case, it says you have to write a job. En los espacios acá eh, es lo opuesto. Van a escribir una profesión que consideren ese adjetivo. Musician, boring. Easy, mm, I don't know, a teacher. A photographer. Ajá, photographer, easy. Dangerous. Electrician. Polytopher. Police officer, electrician, mm -hmm. firefighter. Firefighter, yes. Exciting. Singer. Singer. Difficult. Cashier. A cashier, doctor. police officer, doctor. Mm -hmm. Stressful. A nurse. Mechanic. Nurse, secretary. mechanic, secretary, That's engineer, it. engineer, yes. Y acá la idea es que continúen con el mismo ejercicio, haciendo oraciones, utilizando las estructuras anteriores, con lo, lo que está en el recuadro, ¿ok? Si ya tienen el manual, hacer ese ejercicio, de igual forma creo que les aparece práctica en la plataforma, ¿no? Con estas estructuras. ¿Ok? Questions, comments. No. Okay. Let's practice reading. Practiquemos hoy unas lecturas cortas. There are four paragraphs, so I need four volunteers. Lisa, John, Becky, Carlos. Who wants to practice reading? Kenya, okay, the first one, or you choose, choose one. Yes. Kenya. Yes, okay. This particle has two jobs. She works as a waiter at night, but she is really an actor. shows her schedule is but she's following her dream but she's following her dream thank you Kenya next
Alison. Puedo decir cualquiera, ¿verdad? Yes. You decide. Um, Becky Peck walks in the park every day for many hours. Rain or shine, Becky is a professional dog walker. She walks dogs for other people. Sometimes she takes 20 dogs to the park at one time. Very good. Very good. Mm -hmm. Next. Mary. Lots of teenagers want John Lou job. He plays video game for eight hours a day. Um, and he gets paid for it. John is a video game tester for a big video game company. Is it ever boring? Never jump, almost always wins. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Bájeme la mano. Okay, right now. Give me a second. Okay, more volunteers. Rolando. El de Carlos Ruiz, ¿verdad? Yes, oh, you choose. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yo hablando y tenía el micrófono apagado. Yeah, ahora me pasó a mí. ¿Qué pasó? Dije, ahora a mí se me fue la conexión. <ríe> ok. <ríe> Read it. Carlos Ruiz is busy man. He plans, lesson grades, homework. Help with me up, help, help with after school activities. Así va. Yes. And of course, he teacher teaches his salary isn't great, but that's out. Okay, that's okay. He, uh, that's okay. His students like his class, so he's happy. So he's happy. Thank you very much. More volunteers? Someone else? So I don't know. Okay, give me a second because for poco y se me olvida la asistencia. So give me a second. Today is 12. Alison Rachel Celis Ortiz. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Carlos Andrés Pacheco Calderón. 
I am here, teacher. Nice. Christian Alexander Perez Portillo. Okay, something is missing there. Um, Gabriela Alejandra Gonzalez. Present. Yes, thank you. Jesus Antonio Artiaga Benitez. Present, teacher. Thank you very much. Jose Alexander Pacas Álvarez. Present. Thank you. Carla sí. Elizabeth Hernández Peña. No, she was not here yesterday. Kenia Briseida Torres Martinez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Kimberly Janine Aguillon Lopez. Present, que tengo problemas con el internet. Okay. No me acordaba que estaba. Eh, Lindsay Indira Lobo Díaz. Present teacher. Thank you. María Ana de Jesús González. Present. Thank you. María Stephanie Orellana Flores. Oh, she's not here today. Ella siempre participa. Nancy Edith Cruz Mejía. Problems with your microphone, probably. Rolando Daniel Urrutia Salazar. Present. Tania Stephanie Rivera Landaverde. Teacher, me escuché. Dije present. Yes, yes, thank you. Eh... Okay. Tania Stephanie Rivera, Landa Verde. ¿No? Fue la que han acabado de mencionar. Verónica Magali Martínez Martínez. Present teacher. Thank you. Víctor Manuel Guardado Torres. Present coach. Thank you. Vilma Rubenia Campos Martínez. No, not here. Oops. Some people, one, two, three, four people were missing today. Ooh. Okay. Okay. That's it. Thank you guys for the attendance. What does it say? Charts. Okay. Okay, any comments or question about this? Okay, um, well, we are, today, today is Thursday, Thursday, right? So, we were, we are supposed to start this unit or the second, or next week, broccoli is good for you, but, give me a second, give me a second. 
Okay. Supposedly, we are going to start this new topic on Monday, next week, right? But we have four minutes right now, just in case you want to ask something about these topics. I know that, como decías, no, decíamos, es necesita mucha práctica, hay muchas complicaciones por acá, pero algo puntual que quisieran saber de, de, lo, de lo hasta hoy visto. Por el momento bastante claro, creo que es lo único que me hace falta a mí es vocabulario. Vocabulary. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So, no comments, no questions. ¿Alguna película para verla en inglés? Mm. I can recommend probably um, let me see estaba viendo eh, no no, quizás no todos, o tal vez no todos van a estar dispuestos a unirse al grupo que hizo Carlos, porque ahí les pudiera yo poner unos links, tal vez no películas, sino eh, hay series, tal vez a ustedes les gustan las series y se pueden ver en YouTube, y en YouTube las pueden encontrar eh, son episodios cortos, porque a veces yo los utilizo para mis clases presenciales, ¿no? Eh, les pongo lo, la, la, los episodios. Tal vez a ustedes les gustan las eh, The Big Bang Theory, Friends, Two and a Half Men, Doctor, no, Mr. Bean. There are a lot of, hay muchas series. Y a veces hasta traen tópicos específicos. Um, y algunos traen los subtítulos, ¿sí? Y son muy interesantes. Entonces, en algún momento que yo tenga, en mi desayuno o almuerzo, ahí en este grupo les voy a compartir esos links para que vean eh, esas series. Y así es. Es... Bonito porque, bueno, la película tienen que irla, verla toda y entenderla todo. Y estos episodios de las series que yo les digo, algunos son cinco minutos, rapidito la ven y algo aprenden, el vocabulario, estructura y pronunciación. Es muy productivo el ver esas series, ¿ok? Eh, ahí les voy a... Los, los agregue, teacher, y que la persona que quiera aprender, porque que se quede en el grupo y el que no, pues ni modo. Yes, exactly. Ahorita sí, ya vi que varios se unieron, quizás no, no habían percatado y antes... Creo que nos agregó a todos, porque a mí me pareció que, que me había agregado. Ah, ok. Perfecto. Sí, tenía que agregar a alguien y solo ella la tenía agregada. Oh... Pero ya compartí el al grupo. Ajá. Ok. Comments, questions. Y luego ahí me pueden también preguntar algo, algo ¿no? Que, que, que quieran. Uh -huh. No more comments or questions, guys. No, teacher. All right. So. Uh, we completed the se sessions or the units. Uh, Monday, we continue with next. Broccoli is for you. No, broccoli is good. <laughs> I don't remember the, the name. 
Thank you guys. Good night. And thank you very much for your participation, your attendance, work on the platform and do the exam, do the practice, do the exercises. Okay. Enjoy the weekend. I will see you on Monday. Okay. Bye bye, everyone. Okay. Bye. Okay, bye. Good, night, Good, night, Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night, mister.